How do I make my ox diverse? Cole and D. Okay, let's talk a bit about diversity. Diversity exists for a lot of things. What I mean by that is that race is not the only thing that defines diversity. Different body types, different cultures, different religions, different noses. Basically there is a lot of things to be diverse on. Of course it's a bit hard to do all of them at once but in this case I will teach how I do ox from different countries. I will give advices on how to research and how to study features. Okay first, pick a country. For example I will use my good friend Chile. When I first went to study about Chile I didn't know anything about it so the first thing I started studying about it was the life of Chilean people. It's really important to study about different realities. What's a reality? Well for example it's when someone is poor, their reality is being poor so you study about how being poor is, then you had a rich one you also study for them to know the reality of being rich. That's an example of realities but there is a lot more. By studying how living in that country is you can make your ox sound more relatable to people who actually live on that reality. You can also get help by people who actually live there. After having a quick study about it you can enter on the topic of history and culture of the country. For example, my aunt Martina is a Mapuche indigenous group that lives in Chile and actually was an impact on Chilean history because Mapuches fought a lot of Spanish colonizers. Also Chile has the problem of being racist to Mapuche. Do you see how everything connects? The racism is an example of how life in Chile Island going back to culture. There is a lot of ways that you can study about the culture of a country by seeing the celebrations, important figures, food and more. Remember culture is a big thing, so it's fine if sometimes you don't study everything you just need to have a general idea of small culture things that are important to the people of that country. Studying features this is my favorite part but I have to give a disclaimer. Not everyone has the associated features to them. Not all black people have curly hair, not all Latinos are tan blah blah blah. There's always going to be someone that doesn't has that features and it's fine if you sometimes make that ox but don't use it was an excuse for laziness. For example I made my aunt Carmen a pale Latina because someone wanted me to and I found it quite a good example of different features. Just be careful. I personally study features by seeing photos of the people from that country. I notice similarities between them, like a nose or eye shape and then I make my aunt based on that. You don't need to go way too deep when studying features come again you need to have a general idea. That's why I use photos references for my studies, they are easy and you can get a clear idea of what type of features you can use. Every country has different culture and different features so be very careful when doing the studies you don't want to get the wrong information and if you get you need to fix it. Sometimes people are scared of doing diverse ox because they think they might do a bad job. For those people I say do the ox you need to learn from mistakes and improve and actually make things to know what the problems are. So make pox ox and study about it. Not only pox, study about all the diversity you want to include. It can be autism, it can be a lesbian, it can be a Asian. Diversity is really big and I recommend everyone to find a way to study it that makes them comfortable. Bye bye.